Hey, what's up everybody? It's Kevin here with Mobile DJ Remastered. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel. And if you're not a subscriber already, please subscribe to my channel. We like to put out content that helps you as a mobile DJ grow your business and have more fun. All right, guys, so it's 2022 and I thought uh, for the next uh, upcoming wedding season and event season, which usually starts in the spring for me in the Midwest here, I wanted to up my game in terms of the quality of video that I'm producing from my events. Now, some of you that watch my channel know that what I do for my couples and for anybody that hires me for an event, I will record snippets and little clips of the event from the DJ booth and I'll create a little montage, a little you know highlight reel, if you will, for them and I'll post it. It's almost like a gig log, but without me narrating, it's more about um, setting up the customers, uh, you know, like highlights from the DJ booth. So I like to do that for them. They love it. In fact, I get a lot of good uh, feedback and compliments about, oh, that's so great. I'm so glad you did that. And, and it's a great keepsake or a good, you know, uh, way to chronicle the event. So in any case, I like to do some videos. So I did two things over the holidays and, and invested in two things that I think will bring my video game up a little bit. And I wanted to share those with you. First is what I'm uh, actually filming on right now is my iPhone, my new iPhone 13 Pro Max. And I got a new iPhone. I had had the, um, the, uh, the old XS Max, if you remember that version, probably like three iPhones ago. In any case, I had that version of the iPhone and it was great. I loved it, did a lot of, a lot of great video for me and it was pretty good with low light, which is great for us DJs obviously. And uh, it just really was a beast of a, of a phone for me for three years. And I decided to upgrade because I saw that the new iPhone and maybe the 12s had this too, but uh, certainly uh, every iPhone you know that gets released has a little bit better technology, a little bit better processor, a little bit faster. Um, I saw that the new cameras, uh, I think this is new with the, the 13, the new cameras have a really great feature, especially on the Max, where you can do a wide angle view. So what I can do right now is I can, without even uh, moving my phone back, I can actually zoom out and show more of the scene, which is really, really good, especially when um, you're a DJ, you're set up on the dance floor, and you wanna be able to, you know, maybe have a, a quick clip, you know, holding your phone up, or maybe put it on the tripod for a little bit of a, for a segment or two, you wanna be able to capture as much as possible. And having that wide angle uh, built into the phone is awesome. I've played with attachments before and they're great to uh, stick on your phone, but if you don't have them aligned just right, you can get some blurry images. And also uh, sometimes you have to just remember to bring them, of course, and I'm not the greatest at remembering to bring those attachments. So having everything built into the iPhone is such a great thing. So iPhone 13 Pro Max, super excited to get this thing out on the road, do some gigs. I in fact have a bat mitzvah in a week from now. So I'll certainly be able to share footage from that and uh, here on my channel and you guys will be able to see, hopefully it makes a difference into being able to see more of what's going on for my little highlight videos. My second thing that I picked up was this, it's a GoPro, um, GoPro Max, I almost forgot the name. Uh, GoPro Max is essentially um, a camera that like any other GoPro, you can uh, get great video. And this one has, um, I'm just gonna get the lens covers off here. It's really good and rub rubberized and uh, rugged. You know, it's gonna be hopefully real durable in terms of uh, um, taking it on the road and, and stuff, going to gigs. But what's cool about this one is it's got a camera on the front and a camera on the back. And what these are, these are super wide angle lenses. So you can do these sweeping shots, these panoramics, these super wide angle views, and you can do the 360 bubble. Okay, so that's kind of like, I'm sure, sure you've seen the, the effect um, where you can basically have this in the middle of a room and you can get all 360 view all in one camera with this one guy. Um, it does a little bit of stitching where it takes the image from the front camera and the back camera and stitches it together real time. And it looks pretty sharp. Uh, and you can do some really cool effects. I'm thinking this will help me a lot, especially when the party gets really wild. I was thinking about not filming the whole, you know, 
you know, uh, gig, if you will, or the whole event, but taking this out at peak moments and maybe, you know, setting it up, or maybe even if it's a real crazy party, bringing it into the middle of the party. I think that would be such a cool shot for, uh, for my folks to have uh, when I give them their highlight reel. So in any case, I'm excited to play around with this. Um, I'll go ahead and insert some footage right now that I did. It's kind of some, let's call it test footage. So just uh, me walking around the house, kind of doing a thing where I was just checking out to see, hey, how does this work? And the software is a little new to me as well, the GoPro software, so I was playing with that. Uh, and then I did a little bit, here's another highlight uh, reel or a, I don't know, sample if you will. We had a little New Year's Eve gathering and I put, I put this thing to the test, just had a few friends over. And I was doing a little bit of DJing and I was like, oh, I wonder if this would be cool. And I stuck it up in the corner um, of the room and it kind of got the whole room. It got my bar area, got my dance floor, so to speak, you know, my, my down, my basement dance floor. And it got the whole area, including me. And I think what's cool about this is if you think about it, how often is it that we as DJs get to be part of that you know, footage or whatnot? Because usually we, what we want to do is uh, you, know, you want to show the crowd and you, you probably aren't filming yourself doing your thing. But with this little thing, this little gadget, this little GoPro, I can now film a little bit of me and sweep out to the crowd and come back. And I, again, it's not for, um, I'm not planning on doing like uh, the full uh, gig, if you will, with this. Although maybe I could. I know some DJs do use a GoPro and they set up and forget it and let it go. Um, but we'll see. There's a battery in here that lasts, I think, a couple hours. So I got an extra battery just in case. I got one of these little, um, you know, here's the little battery. And the little charger case uh, allows you to, you know, charge two batteries at once. So I got a little charger. And uh, I also got a little, um, one of these little things, which is kind of like a selfie stick kind of deal. But uh, it just extends and you can, you can also make it a tripod. Um, you know, the legs pop out. So you can make it a tripod so you can stick it down on a on a surface or whatever. And then of course, all the other standard uh, GoPro things you would expect, like little hooks and clamps and stuff that come with the package. But anyway, I found this and I got it uh, over the holidays. I'm excited to try it out. I saw some, some DJs uh, have done this in the past and done the 360 shot and, you know, from a club or something. And it is totally dope. I love it the way it looks. So I was thinking, I'll try it out and see what it looks like, what it brings me. Any case, guys, just a short video. I wanted to tell you about some of the stuff that I uh, hopefully will enhance my 2022 events and uh, make them a little more, uh, you know, a little more pizzazz, you know. And I think my new phone is going to be, uh, is going to be the core central idea to that, helping up my video. Drop me a line or a comment if you want to uh, you know, connect or anything. If you got any thoughts or future content ideas, I've always liked to hear you guys. Let me know future content ideas for my channel. Otherwise, I'll sign off for now and I'll talk to you later.